Welcome back. My name is Dustin. Today I'm going to use a chunk of this 5160 steel to make this Bowie knife. Here we go. I cut my freshly drawn template out, stuck it on the bar of 5160, outlined it, then went over to my quarter band saw and cut out the rough profile. I got on the bell grinder and cleaned up the spine. I took it up to 120 grit before using the file guide and a hand file to clean up the shoulders. I administered a healthy coat of layout fluid, used my template to help mark some lines, then got on the drill press with a quarter inch drill bit and drilled out a bunch of holes. A bunch of new scribe lines followed up with some porta bandsaw work left me with this. I like it. Thumbs up for approval. I used a chainsaw file and some micro files to clean up the little saw styled spine I just put on. So far, I think this looks pretty cool. It still needs a ton of work. And right now I'm gonna scribe some lines and work on the preliminary bevels. I started with a well-used 36 grit bell and took it up to 60 grit. And I filmed this view just for the sparks. Look at them fly. So this is all I have time for today. I'm gonna put a coat of WD-40 on it so it doesn't rust, put it away. We'll be back at it soon. To prevent any wonky guard fit ups, I sanded the blade down to a thousand grit, which is what I think is going to be close to the final sanded grit. We'll leave it there for now. It's time to fit a guard. So I'm going to start working on my guard fit up. I've got 1084, I've got a big chunk of brass, and I've got plenty of uh, 5160 laying around. I think I'm going to do the 1084. I started by just making my piece of 1084 square. I scribed some lines, then went over to my anvil and center punched some holes to keep me on course on the drill press. I used the combination of my Dremel tool and a whole lot of file work to get this guard fit. It looks pretty good. It is just a little bit loose though. So I'm going to take it over onto my anvil and peen or push some of this metal here and close this gap up a little bit. Then I'll hammer it on and I should have a pretty tight fit. I gotta make sure I put this all in the right direction and let's see how we did. Already that's tightened it right up, so let's uh, hit it on there, see what the gap looks like. No more loose guard. made some progress. I think it looks pretty cool. For a mechanical connection, I drilled one 3 inch hole for a pin. Stay with me here, it's gonna look good. It is time for heat treat. I threw the blade in the forge, ran it up in temperature and let it soak for about five minutes, then got it in the quench. With the blade still warm, I put it in the straightening jig, well, angle iron. I then started profiling the handle. I'm gonna do something different, and I think it's gonna look really good. I took the bevel up to 120 grit, making sure to keep it cool, and then cleaned it up with a scotch Brite bill. Yep, more hand sanding, and a lot of it. I used West Systems G Flex Epoxy and got the blade glued up. I then cleaned all the squeeze out up, which is when I realized I did something really stupid. I completely forgot to sand that part right there. Let's get this out of clamps and finish a knife. 
I got the pins cut off, then sanded the handle to 220 grit. I then put the edge on, polished up the blade, and cleaned up the wire with a strop. A couple coats of teak oil, and check this out.